lump test for concrete. So the type of question that can come in the exam is explain the slump test for concrete. So the first point that you will write is that the slump test for concrete is used to determine the workability and consistency of concrete. What this means is that how easily the concrete can flow into the forms and surround the reinforcement that is called as the consistency. Second point is that the apparatus which is used for the test is a mold in the shape of a frustrum of a cone. So this is what has been shown here. It's a conical shaped mold which has been cut at the top. The top and bottom ends are open. The upper and lower ends have a diameter of 100 mm and 200 mm respectively. So this has got a 100 mm diameter, 200 mm diameter. And the mold has a height of 300 mm as is shown in the figure. The mold is placed on a flat surface with the narrow end facing upwards. So this is something which is important how the cone is placed while the test is being carried out. The mold is filled with concrete in three layers. So this has been shown here, one layer, two layer and three layer. Each layer is compacted by tamping 25 times with a 16 mm diameter steel rod. So the steel rod is used to compact the layers and each rod is, the rod is tamped 25 times to achieve the necessary compaction. The concrete at the top is leveled off with a trowel. The cone is then slowly removed taking care to see that the concrete is undisturbed. So once that is done, what you will see is that the concrete will slump that is bulge in the center and reduce in height. For normal workability, the slump should not exceed 50 mm. So as you can see here that this is the original shape which has been shown and dashed and the concrete will slightly sink or it will uh, reduce in height and that is what is called as slump. So as far as possible, this slump should not exceed 50 mm. If instead of bulging, the concrete slides down in an inclined plane, it is called a shear slump, as can be seen here. Shear slump is an indication of lack of cohesion. The table on the side and the last point which has been shown is that is a total collapse. So that means that the concrete is not of the correct workability and may have to be revised. The table gives the description of workability for different values of slump. So this is giving you the height which is from the original top of the cone to the point where it has bulged. So no slump means zero, very low slump is 5 to 10 millimeters, low slump is between 15 to 30 meters, medium slump is, slump is between 35 to 75, high slump is between 80 to 1. 5 and very high slump is 162 collapse. So depending upon what type of work is being done, the different type of slump is used. For example, if it is a RCC work with a lot of heavy reinforcement, then you require more workability. But if it is going to be a road work or such other work, you will require less workability. In such case, the slump can be very low. And in cases where you require more workability, you will get concrete which has got a more slump. So this is how you will test the workability or the consistency of concrete on the site.